Come quietly or there will be trouble. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a hot minute since we had a RoboCop package come in. Uh, well over four months to be exact, but I have now packed four stages 11 through 14 of Fan Homes Build Your Own RoboCop. I also have box five uh, in as well, which I'll be doing in a separate video, and box six just shipped, so they're working double time to catch up uh, for me, it looks like. So that's awesome. I'll be able to get RoboCop going again. I uh, also have another Back to the Future DeLorean pack on the way. But I digress. This video is about RoboCop. So I'm going to go ahead and get up top and get this thing up. All right, guys, here we go. As you can see, I don't need to cut this box open because it actually came this way. <laughs> I've been having a little issue with some smash boxes lately. But uh, I already opened this just to make sure because I got two of these in box four and box five. So. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we got inside, though. Paper out of the way. Okay. All right. Looks like we got our parts here. Yeah, we got all four packs. And it looks like they sent us a binder, too, uh, for our magazines. That's cool. There it is. And we have our magazine. All right. Looks like everything in the box. Let's go ahead and get rid of the box. I'd buy that for a dollar. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get this stuff out of the way and get started. All right, first, let's get a look at this binder. This is pretty cool. I mean, it's not really a binder. It's just like a, a box to hold the magazines in, but uh, that's kind of nice. Got RoboCop on uh, all sides there. Yeah, nice. All right, and we got 11, 12, 12, 13, and 14. I don't know, it looks like they sent me two issues of 12. Interesting. Huh. That are alive. You are coming with me. All right, guys, here's issue 11. Let's take a look inside of that. Skim through real quick. Say no to drugs campaign. I remember that. Okay, looks like we're going to be working on that arm again. It's been so long ago, I forgot what we were actually working on. Uh, but yeah, I remember now we have, we're going to be putting uh, the hand onto the arm. And here's the, uh, the uh, wrist sleeve part right here that we're going to be putting on. All right, when we get done, we're going to have this full arm. Okay, and then we get more into the magazine here. I'm just gonna flip through real quick. There we are. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, we have our parts right here. Let's get them out of this box. Okay, we're gonna bring back over the arm that we've been working on. Okay, we have the uh, forearm side cover here. And we're going to be placing that right into the sidearm there. It's got two pins on it. They're different sizes, so it only goes one way. Just want to push it in and snap that into place just like that. Okay, now we're going to be taking the lower forearm here. We're going to be sliding it over the arm. Okay, it's going to go this way around with this indented part facing the front of the arm. Like this. And we're going to pop that through. And it's just going to snap over. I say snap over. It's kind of loose on there, but I think when the hand goes on, it's going to hold it into place. But just like that. All right, now we got his right hand, and I've been looking at this thing for months now. All right, now we're going to take the back of the hand, the back, the hand plate off, just magnetized on there. We're going to take that off, and we're going to loosen these four screws right here. All right, we get the handy dandy Fantic screwdriver here, and I'm going to go in here and loosen these up. There we go. We just want to loosen it up a little bit so we can get this pushed on to this pin here on the arm. See if that's enough. There we go. Just like that. And now we're going to tighten them back down. There we go. Just like that. And we'll put the back of the hand back on. Yeah, make sure the hand rotates freely, and it does. This is now pushed nicely into place. That's not moving at all. The hand will rotate all the way around. A little stiffness, which is good because you don't want it to be all floppy. That's what she said. <laughs> all right, guys, and that is the end of pack 11. Let's go ahead and move on to pack 12. That are alive, you are coming with me. 
All right, here's the magazine for Pack 12. Let's get a look in it real quick, see what we got going on. Designing Robocop. All right, looks like we're working on that right shoulder joint here. We're going to have these parts here to go on the back of the arm. All of this, and when we get done, we're going to have, I think we're going to have a completed arm. All right, let's go ahead and get to it. All right, guys, we got 12C, this little piece right here. We're going to be putting that on the arm here. It's going to be going right into here, and it's got a half circle shape on there. So it's going to fit right into there one way. Let's get it in there and get that pushed in. Now you're going to push all the way down in there like that. There we go. It's going to look just like this when it's done. All right, now we got 12B and two AM screws. And 12B is going to go right on the outside of the shoulder here. It's going to go over just like that, and we're going to screw that in with the two AM screws. This is nice and snug, but don't over tighten them, of course, because it is plastic. There you go. It's going to look just like that. You know, we got 12A and two more of those AM screws, and we're going to do the same thing on the other side of the shoulder. All right, let's go ahead and get that screwed in. All right. Okay, yeah, it's going to look just like that. Here we go. Very nice. Look at that. What a cool looking arm, man. I can't wait to get this thing done. Oh, awesome. I know I say that a lot. But, uh, man, I just love all these models. All right, that's the end of Pack 12. Let's go ahead and move on to Pack 13. That are alive, you are coming with me. All right, here we go with Stage 13. Let's go ahead and get a look in that magazine. All right, we got more designing RoboCop here. Oh, this dude had a bad day. He had a bad day. Here we go. All right, here's our parts we're going to be doing here. Looks like the, we're going to be working on the left foot. We already did the right foot. So now we're going to start building the left foot here. I right, have all these all these assembly pieces here, and when we get done, we're going to have just this section of the left foot. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. It's step one, we have uh, 13A and 13B. We're going to take 13A this way around, and we're going to put it in this direction with a pin pointing uh, to the right, or if it's this way, it would be the left side of the foot or the inside of the foot. So it's going to go in just like this and just sit in there uh, just like that, just a little ball fitting. So on the other side, it's going to look like this. Okay, now we got 13C, 13D, and 13E. That's these three pieces here, these two cup pieces and this larger cup here. Uh, the way this works is the larger cup's going to drop down in there just like that. Then the smaller one is going to jump on top of that one down in there like that. And this is going to go on top of that ball, and then we're just going to screw it in in these four holes with uh, four CM screws. So let's see if we can get this on there and hold it, and then we'll see if we can screw it in. I remember doing this one on the other foot. All right, just like that. And then we're going to screw it in those four holes. All right, we're going to see if we can get one in here, right here on the top. Normally I put oil on this, but really don't want to mess with it. All right, we got the one in to kind of hold it, and that was kind of hard to get in there. So I'm going to go in and drop a little bit of oil in the holes of the other three. I'm just going to put a bloop right down in there. It's going to make it a little easier for those screws to go in. Okay, now I'm going to go to the other corner, opposite of the one I just put in, and I'm going to put a screw in that one. There we go. And now we're going to put one in the other two. All right, and one more. All right, don't do like me. I screwed it down so tight that I actually cracked the plastic. So don't be like me. I might undo that a little bit and see if I can actually glue it back. Yep, I snapped the plastic right off. So I'm going to see if I can get that fixed, and I'll be right back. They'll fix you. They fix everything. All right, guys, I was able to get it fixed. I couldn't glue that piece back on. There's no way it's going to be strong enough to stay on there. It was broke all the way through. Uh, so just be careful. Uh, don't be like me. 
have a little finesse when putting that piece in. Go one screw, one screw, one screw, one screw, slowly until you tighten the whole thing down. Kind of like putting lug nuts on a car so you don't crack one of those pieces off. You just need to get it nice and snug so that this doesn't move around very easily because this is going to be holding the weight of the whole model. But I was able to get it back on there. It's very tight, uh, but I am missing that one screw. So again, don't be like me and just crank down on it like I just did and snap it off. So anyways, lesson learned on that one. Uh, let's go ahead and get back into the video. Okay, now we got 14B and 14C. That's these two pieces here, the middle part of the foot and this spring. We're gonna be attaching this spring on this middle pin here. There's three pins. We're gonna be attaching it right on the top of the pin there with a CM screw. All right, I'm just gonna put the spring on the end of my screw like this and see if I can hold it with my finger. And going this direction with this point the other way, I'm just gonna set that on there. Now I already put a little bit of oil in there, so it should be okay on that. And we're just going to screw that in. It could be just a little loose. It doesn't have to be tightened all the way down. Uh, just so the spring can move move a little bit. It doesn't have to be snug down super tight. That's uh, If you remember from the other foot, that's just going to be holding the toes. All right, now we're going to take that piece and we're going to put it on the, uh, the ankle part that we just built. Uh, we're going to put this tab here over this hole right here. It's going to sit on it just like that. And we're going to screw that down with a CM screw. And again, I already added just a little oil in there, so we're good. There we are. That ain't going anywhere. All right, now we're going to bring the toe section back over, and we're going to be putting the toe section on. Again, that's going to fit right into these grooves, this uh, bar here right into these grooves, just like that. And then we're going to hook this, uh, put a screw in here and hook that spring around that screw. But we're going to go ahead and get the screw in first so we can hook that spring around it. We got a CM screw here. Let's go ahead and get that put in. Again, they don't have to be tightened all the way down uh, right now. We just want to get that, leave it up enough so we can get that spring around it. See, it's not all the way down. All right, we're going to go ahead and put the toe back on like we had it. Now I'm just going to take a small screwdriver and we're going to grab that spring by the hook and we're just going to stretch it around that screw like that. And then I'm going to hold it on with my finger and pull the screwdriver out. There we go. Spring on. Okay, now we could probably leave it like that, but I'm going to tighten the screw down just a little bit more. Just like that. Nice. Now we don't have the bottom of the foot in this section. We'll be getting that in the next one, I'm assuming. Uh, so we can't actually complete the foot. But that is the end of pack 14. So let's go ahead and get back to the main camera. All right, guys, like I said, that is the end of pack 14. Uh, we have our completed right on, or pretty much completed. I think it's almost done. Uh, it's still probably got some parts that go on the shoulder, the inside shoulder piece here. Uh, but yeah, it looks really good. The uh, wrist turns and everything like it's supposed to. I'm knocking pieces off of it. That's just magnetized, just snaps back on. There we go. Uh, very cool looking though, looking really nice. I'm loving uh, just how detailed this is looking uh, we also got the left foot mostly complete here i'm sure we'll be finishing that up in the next box but yeah i'm enjoying this build so far i can't wait to have him completely done and on my shelf over there so i appreciate you guys stopping by and watching the video if you like these kind of videos make sure you give it a thumbs up and a subscribe it helps the channel out immensely and i'll see you next time i'm chewy solo and this these black and red builds. See ya. Woo! Now that is a whole lot of fun right there.